Speaking of rumors, according to a news scoop from Daniel Richmond's Patreon account, Amber is reportedly set for a massive pay raise thanks to her involvement in Ackerman and The Lost Kingdom. The ever so controversial actress's actual salary for the upcoming project wasn't disclosed, but the tipster notes that her DC Extended Universe return will make her one of the Tinseltown's highest paid actors. Fake. Huge herd fraud exposed. No wonder Aquaman 2 is a flop. When it comes to Aquaman, it is director James Wan who is once again back at the helm of the aquatic superhero movie and just last night, he shared an Instagram photo revealing the long-awaited title of the next feature film along with an ominous message sharing the information regarding the upcoming Aquaman sequel, Wan said. From Wan's image, it is revealed that Aquaman 2 will be called Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. While this news should be exciting, many fans think Warner Brothers should address their relationship with Heard following the court controversy, calling the movie studio to hashtag Fire Amber Heard, hashtag that has continued to trend off and on, but is also on the verge of signing a deal with Warner Brothers that will make her one of the highest paid female actors in the industry. The deal would reportedly be a huge step forward for Heard, whose future career has looked uncertain in the recent months and would no doubt be a huge blow to those calling for her to be dropped for future projects. The petition to get fired from Aquaman 2 was instigated months ago by John Larson, who alleged in the justification included in the petition that Heard is a known and proven domestic abuser who is also known for lying about the situation between herself and the Pirates of the Caribbean star. Larson is a voted supporter of Depp's side of the case and uses codes and various other pieces of information from Depp's libel case that he brought against the UK newspaper The Sun, which is part of the Rupert Murdoch's empire. Although it was ruled back in November that the claim against Depp as a wife beater was substantially true, which makes the basis of the petition more a case of personal preference than outright fact-based document. It is not hard to see why it has been relatively ignored by the Warner Brothers so far, considering what it is asking of them. Although he obviously doesn't go to the lens of giving any details as to how exactly she'll accomplish this feat. Heard is said to have pocketed at least $5 million upfront for the fifth installment, which could have potentially doubled if not more than Aquaman hauled in over $1.1 billion globally. Hypothetically though, to become one of the most financially well-rewarded talents in the industry, she would need to end up somewhere in the ballpark of 15 to 20 million dollars, looking at the list of the highest paid actresses from the last couple of years. With a major difference being that the regular names to make those sort of salaries tend to play several significant leading roles, something the DCEU's Mira hasn't exactly been doing too often as of late. When James Wan dropped the official name for the upcoming Aquaman sequel, it was quickly overshadowed by renewed calls for the dismissal of the star Amber Heard by those still not happy with her personal domestic abuse allegations against ex-husband Johnny Depp. With an online petition of over 1.85 million signatures demanding Heard be axed from the sequel, you would think that Warner Brothers may be swayed by public opinion. After all, it worked, supposedly, when it came to forcing the company to release Zack Snyder's Justice League. But if a new whisper in the industry is to be believed, then not only do Warner Brothers not care but they are about to do something that will infuriate Heard's haters even more. According to news reported by Hollywood info grabber Daniel Richman, Heard is not going to appear in Ackerman and The Lost Kingdom. Ackerman, in fact, went on to score over $1 billion at the worldwide box office. The ocean-centered movie Somamoa reprised his Justice League role as Arthur Curry, or Ackerman, with Heard returning as Mira. The cast featured a slate of Hollywood talent such as Nicole Kidman as Atlanta, Willem Dafoe as Novitas Vulco, and Patrick Wilson as Orm Marius. The sequel was confirmed in January 2019 and up until now, the title of the follow-up movie was not yet announced. DCEU returned to the small screen this year following Zack Snyder's release of Justice League. The director left the production due to personal issues leading to Wheaton taking over, with fans calling for Warner Brothers to hashtag release the Snyder Cut, his version of the massive DC team-up Zack Snyder's Justice League 2020, or commonly referred to as the Snyder Cut, was released on HBO Max. It's a pretty impressive amount of backlash too. 
the petition that fans have created in an effort to have Amber Heard removed from the production of Aquaman 2, now known as Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, has gathered nearly 1.8 million signatures as of this writing. At this moment, however, the petition hasn't actually had any impact on Amber Heard or her attachment to the upcoming sequel. News about popular movies usually comes with a certain amount of fanfare. When the cast or crew of blockbuster franchises share updates, it generates buzz, excitement, and anticipation. But a recent announcement from the director of Warner Brothers' DC Extended Universe or DCEU film Aquaman sees fans calling for one of its actors to be fired. It seems some fans still want actress Amber Heard who stars as the superhero Mira alongside Jason Momoa's title character to be released from the DC production in the wake of hers and ex-husband Johnny Depp's ongoing legal battle. Aquaman opened in cinemas in 2018 and became a surprising box office hit. The DC film released in the aftermath of the franchise's mixed response to its previous movies. Aquaman followed on from Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman 2017 in terms of success, with both proving the DCU wasn't completely redundant. Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice 2016, Suicide Squad 2016 and Joss Whedon's Justice League 2017 received negative to lukewarm responses. Luck is definitely on Amber's side, but given the fact that her legal battle with her former husband Johnny Depp is far from over, she can't celebrate just yet. Now, in the event that things will ultimately go south for her, then it's safe to say that Heard's Hollywood career will come crashing down, much like it did Depp, and I'm pretty sure that's what her detractors have been praying for. Hopefully, the truth will prevail come 2022. The real money from starring in successful comic book blockbusters doesn't come from salaries, although we're hardly taking pennies in that department, but rather the percentage points of the profit participation clauses that see the stars pick up plenty of additional income dependent on box office performance. For example, Robert Downey Jr. was paid $20 million up front for Avengers Endgame, but he was also entitled to 8% of the back-end profits which netted him a tidy $55 million extra when the conclusion that the Infinity Saga became the highest-grossing movie in the history of cinema. While co-stars Chris Evans and Chris Hemsworth banked at least $25 million apiece on top of their standard fees as well. The point is, it's hard to gauge how much somebody staring in a comic book extravaganza will ultimately go home with until the financial dust had settled. But that hasn't stopped insider Daniel Richman from claiming that Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom will make Amber Heard one of the highest-paid actresses in Hollywood.